Oh, what's going on, everyone? This is Dark Sky, and we are playing Incremental Factory. The factory must grow. Uh, thank you for uh, the, to the developer uh, of Significant Stake and Key Mailer for uh, providing a key to our channel for this game. And uh, so this is a, kind of a fun game. It has to do with a, kind of like Factorio, if you will. Um, but more of a simpler, kind of relaxing, you know, you know, getting attacked by bugs, you know, but uh, it has a little bit less on the graphic side, a little bit more of like ease and uh, cozy kind of game. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. So here we are at the start of the game. It uh, doesn't really, you know, hold your hand or anything like that. What we do is like uh, any other game, we start by, you know, smacking a stone. So we'll just smack the stone here and get uh, get some uh, resources until we get up to, it was about 15 or 20 or so. There we go. Which will unlock the uh, the kiln for us here. And you can see right underneath the uh, the cost here. Uh, it says on the soul screen a cost of 10 stone so we have 17 stone we're good so we're gonna buy the uh the kiln so that's gonna you know unlock all this other stuff for us and we're gonna work on trying to uh, make this uh, iron smelter which requires us to uh, make uh, get these uh 10 bricks so right now it's it's basically a kind of a twofer on this i think we don't want to just kind of uh, go through here. We want to get some coal because, uh, you know, coal, there we, yeah, we got to put coal in the kiln, right? That's how the, uh, the it's going to burn. It's going to, uh, you know, help us make these, this turn the stone to brick. And there we go. We get the twofer and there we are. We have 10 bricks. So now we can get this uh, iron smelter. Now, see, I just opened up a whole bunch of stuff for us, you know, all kinds of good stuff. We're having a, we're having a good old time here. So what we're going to do next is, uh, you see here on Iron Smelter, we need, uh, you see under cost there, it says we need to get 10 iron plates and we need 10 bricks. So that should be easy enough. We just make sure we have plenty of coal so we don't run out of that. And you figure it's about 10 for uh, two per, so every two iron is going to make one uh, iron plate same with the bricks two uh, bricks or two stone rather is going to make one brick so we just keep doing here with two iron get the two iron and you make the uh one iron one iron plate and then two of the stone here for us to make um 10 uh, bricks down here uh we're almost there a little bit more that should do her all right so that should unlock us there there we go we are in the green so we are ready to purchase this iron miner and we're just going to open up some more stuff look at this things just keep coming out we're getting all kinds of neat things coming in we got this yield over here, which allows us to see that we're getting stone at 119 percent coals at 120 percent and minimum yield of 20 percent so those these numbers here are really going to help us later on but uh you can see right now uh resources remaining are like five out of fifty thousand so i guess that there's like a there there must be uh like a max to the resource i don't know like where are we going to go to get our next source of resource after we hit fifty thousand? i don't know maybe we'll have to do some mining some digging until we find something uh, so next, what we're going to do is we need to see the stone miner here. So we got 10 iron plates. We got, look at that, we're up like 30 iron plates now. 
But we still need those 10 bricks to make that stone miner. So I'm going to uh, mine up uh, some stone here. Uh, I'm going to get some more coal. You know, i got to throw some more coal in the kiln. And there we go. There's our 10 bricks. We get that stone miner. And look at that. Now we unlock the coal miner. So now we, we have the stone miner. He's automatically up here. He's mining away the stone. The stone is automatically getting transferred. It's getting get changed over here to bricks. And you can see that the, uh, the iron miner is over here. He's mining this iron automatically. And we're getting some iron plates. So we are doing good. We got things, you know, things are moving, they're grooving, you know, that kind of thing. Get to smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And make sure that subscribe button is pressed. I noticed that uh, YouTube has been off clicking uh, the, the subscribe button. So, you know, uh, make sure that that subscribe button is pressed. And if it says subscribe, yeah, you're good to go. Make sure you smash that like button as well. And uh, comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this game. I mean, it is very similar to Factorio. I mean, don't you think? Uh, except for, you know, the graphics, you know. But it really needs the graphics, right? I mean, it's just, it's a simple, it's a nice game. It's That's what, what, what it comes down to. So you can see now that we have enough here, uh, iron plates and bricks. We only needed 10 to unlock coal miners. So we get coal and we get uh, down here. Now we get the coal power plant. That is gonna give us uh, energy, which is always nice. So we're gonna up that coal plant. Now we have uh, energy up here for uh, three out of 16. So, uh, you know, our, our power is doing good. Uh, we got coal up here. Uh, we're doing two out of 16. I guess that's uh, how much we're like pushing through. We could probably get get some more. I think that's like the uh, the power, like how much power we're getting out of the uh, out of each piece of coal that we're mining. And then you can see that we have solar panel, but we don't have any solar power yet. So you know we're just working with the energy and coal at the moment. But uh, let's get going. So uh, you can see it, it's also producing uh, coal ash, which is coming from the coal plant. It's the uh, the after. Uh, you know residue that uh, comes from the coal that we're getting so we're getting the ash from the coal and eh, well i don't know what to do with it yet so we're just going to let it just say uh, you know kind of stack up on its own and let us do its own thing there so now you can see here we have a uh, gear press so we're going to need these gears for later on so we might as well get these gears going so we're going to do that and next oh look at that there's gears so we need gears. We need a three times the energy equals one red science. So definitely going to need that. Uh, so we got to wait up here. Uh, there we go. We got the 25 gears required. And we needed uh, 25 bricks. We definitely got that. So let's do that. All right. Now you can see it just kind of opens up everything. We got some green science that came in, but... Man, we are far from like you know dealing with any of this yet. Uh, this down here is uh, steel uh, bars or whatever, and we we're definitely not even we're any close to that. Uh, but we can do this utilization bar, and that allows us to see like what's going on, like how how are we doing, how are things uh, moving, you know, grooving, you know, and the thing. So we click this, and you can see how our bars are moving. Uh, we are green on this. The power plant's a little bit down, but that's good. If that was full, then we would have to worry. That means that we'd be running out of energy. Uh, these kilns and the iron smelters are, you know, they're, not, they're doing all right. I mean, they could do better, but they're doing all right for now. Now, you can see up here that's opened up. We have parcel. It has a number one next to it. So the number one means that you that's the number one on the keyboard. You press that and it opens up this page. Now, we, if we were to press number four, we get this research. Now, you can see the research here, how it's all kind of laid out. We got logistics, got construction, general buildings, military, which is probably our guns and stuff to protect us from the uh, bugs and whatnot. And then we have efficiency, obviously, you know, be more efficient. But uh, uh, yeah. It's pretty much pretty laid out. I mean, if you look at this, it's kind of the same thing, just like Factorio. You know, it has all the, the little uh, 
you know, research uh, class that we have to get to of different colors. Although I wish that they would, instead of it being grayed out like this, even though, you know, we have to wait for the research because obviously you can see right here it's locked. So we're not able to uh, research it yet. But I wish that this was a little bit more brighter so you can you can see it. it. Right now it seems to be kind of fogged out, so it does make it hard to see. You can see up here that we have, we have 13 currently. And uh so you know we're working we're working towards that. So we get back here to parcels. And uh let's see here. What uh what can we do? Um See where a stone, the stone is a little on the end downside. We want to up that a little bit. So let's do some stone mining. We're going to up that. There we go. We get that in the bonuses. I want to say let's leave it up right about there. And we want iron. So we need to up our iron a little bit, which we cannot do at the moment. We need five iron plates, six iron plates. We need some iron plates. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. So we need iron miner, iron smelter. All right, we up the iron smelter. That should get us more iron plates. Let's see. Not seeing it. Iron ore is down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so we are getting up there. We got iron plates here. You can see that it's doing it's doing its thing, but it doesn't seem to really be pushing it through. Let me see here. What are we doing our research? We're up to 25. We're getting up there. We still got a little ways to go. I'm thinking let's just push that through. Get some iron plates down there. We can get the um there we go, Iron Miner, let's up that guy. Let's uh, down that, there we go. Now things are moving, things are moving, things are grooving. There we are, we have, we have currently have 10. Uh, let's see, maybe add another one. Let's see there. So you got to kind of play with this a little bit until you get it just right. So everything is in a nice green area and you just, just, things are just happening. See our numbers here now are climbing. We get some more iron plates. So let's up uh, iron miner. There we go. We're in the 76. So everything is now in all green. We have green across the boards. We are doing good. But uh, I think what I want to do is up more of this on this red science here. So let's get this red science pumping out so we can uh, get a few more than just 0.2 per turn. Let's see. Oh, our energy took a hit. So we are running low on energy. We need to up the uh, coal power plant. Let's hit that one there. Maybe hit some coal miner. There we go. Get that bonus up there. Oh, and there we go. So now we see the research has a one. That means the research is open. So we're going to hit research now. And that is going to open, unlocks the map and the ability to build more parcels. Now, I'll have to explain the parcels to you. This, this is interesting. So, okay, we unlock this. Now we go to this, uh, this is a parcel right here. So we have, this is the HQ or our headquarters parcel. And this is showing our global resources now. So you can really see like what kind of resources we have. And this is what's going into your headquarters. So you need to have your resources, your end resources, like, um, uh, like the, uh, the bricks and the, uh, iron plates and the gears and even the red science have to end in your headquarters or a warehouse for it to actually go in the global resources, which is what you use to build more uh, parcels. Now we'll go on the map here. Now this is a parcel. 
So this is just one parcel. This happens to be your headquarter parcel. Now we can open up, we got production down here. And so we can say, okay, what we want to do is we want to build, we want to like, you know, simplify these headquarter, this hard headquarter parcel a little bit. So uh, what I want to do is I want to take out stone and probably uh, make bricks. So I want to make a separate one here that is just going to be bricks. So we do stone here. And so this guy here is just going to mine stone. And let's say we have him turn it into bricks. And we want him to do coal power and a power plant. And down, and then up here, you can see we have the utilization bar, which is what makes these things green. So you can see like that everything is working, you know, things are happening. You know, we off click it, click it. There we go. So you, you know, you know, things are going on. You know that, uh, that things are happening. Now, the other one here is called Smart Sort. Oh, Smart Sort. Boy, that was hard to say. It's a little tongue twister. So if we click this, that brings all of these that are active, brings them up to the top. So that way you're not having to look through all this other stuff, which makes it a little bit cleaner, nicer, to look, you know, easier to look at. All right, so what we have here is we have the stone miner right here. Now, if we hold the alt button, we can bring this up. We can do 16 of these uh, stone miners. And so you can see that that really pushed our rate up. We're doing almost 20 uh, per turn. So that's a pretty good deal. And so right now, for as far as bricks, though, we're not doing so great on bricks. So what I'm thinking is... Um, what I might want to do, yeah, you see how this is shrinking really fast, is that, uh, let's see here, what if we minus off these a little bit, add in some kilns, there we go, so you can see that really just kind of, you know, push stuff up, if we uh, add a little, one more to coal miner, there we go, add one to stone miner, Maybe two, maybe three, maybe one more. There we go. All right, so now everything's kind of green. It's easy, easy to look at. You now we're doing bricks here. We're doing eight per turn. So that's a pretty good, uh, you know, pushing bricks out. Now what we're going to do is drag from this arrow to this arrow. I'm going to tell them, hey, we're bringing bricks over, buddy. And we're bringing them over eight per second. So that's a pretty good deal. So that means we're really just going to build up these bricks. They're going to get up to their max. Uh, let's see, what's the current max on this? Uh, it doesn't really show. Usually it shows the max, but I don't see it right now. I think it's like 1,600 or something. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, the, yeah, you, so we can see that the bricks are really building up. You can see them over here. It's The uh, bricks are at 600, almost 650 now really just flying you know things are happening so what we need to do now is we need to work on this red science so we need to have uh kind of work towards gears so you can see up here we have some research available it looks like three opened up we can click over here we can see either global we can see everything all the resources everything uh, we can just do construction where we just see, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, blocks and everything that we need or require. Or we can click on uh, science and just see that, uh, oh, there's the red uh, flask for our science. So if we keep that there, you can see that we are uh, currently almost about to hit uh, 100 on the uh, science bit. So this first one here is extraction tier uh, tech tier one, it unlocks a parcel. All extraction buildings boost output at 130%. You, you get 1,200 items per turn limit when connected to a node. So that's pretty good. Uh, so if we un undo that one there, and we go back to map, now you can see down here that it has extraction and it has production. Um, the production with the number in it means how many uh, we have currently that are out on the board. Extractions, how many extractions we currently have on the board. 
It says on here that we can only have 16 of these extraction buildings. And we can all, on these buildings here, we can have 32 of these buildings out here. And the connections are only three, so eh, yeah, it's all right. But uh, storage 400, storage 1600, so much better. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I wanna bring out this extraction and I wanna put this like right here. And on this extraction, I'm gonna have this little guy just be mine stone because he's, he's really good at mine stone. So, and then we're gonna just do alt and max out his uh, stone mic in there. But we're gonna need to mine us off a few for us to get the coal miner. And we're also gonna need the power plant. All right, there we go. So now the rate on that stone, it looks like it'd be about 21, almost 22, 22 per turn. Not, not too shabby. Uh, we're really pumping it out. So now we can take this and have that connected here and say that's stone. And we can release this here of its um of the stone miner. So we can exit out uh these here a little bit. Let's see. There, so now we just have the kiln, we have the power plant, and we got the coal miner here. So you can see that up here, it's like a 16, negative 16 per turn. You can see it just really dropping. Uh, if we look back here, we can see we're doing eight per second this year. So we got 14, one, one. We're just gonna copy that same, same thing there. We want stone and we wanna max that out. And then we would drop down to 14 and put in a coal miner and a coal power plant. There we go. And we can also change the colors to like how we want this. So that way we can, you know, tell like what's going on. You know, we can say like, oh, this is stone, you know, so let's change stone to gray. And maybe this other one, we'll change that one to gray. All right, and we're going to put that to that and call it stone. There we go. And now we got two of them that are doing eight per second. So that is really good. So that's coming in here. That should be doing almost 16 per second. So the numbers you can see are actually climbing now instead of dropping. So we are actually making out just about right. But here it says bricks. We are maxed out at 400. We're doing should have been eight per per turn on bricks because you got to remember bricks are uh, are two so every two pieces of stone makes one brick so same thing here 16 per turn it's going to make eight per turn here on bricks but uh yeah everything's kind of stopped so that means on here we have to look at this and see what's going on so we have stone here and we have like a lot of stone and it should be coming through on this kiln but uh we're not not doing all that great let me see here. let's just up that a little bit let's get that up that's still going up yeah it's still going up all right let's put 10 in there 20 24 there we go let's see how we're doing no everything's still kind of just hanging there you know i don't know let's see we got the coal power here and we're doing 16 we're still doing eight here everything should be kind of good for the most part although this is stone I mean, we could push, um, well, no, actually that's right. Cause we have the stone coming in and we have the bricks are supposed to be going out. Hmm. But on bricks here, oh, that's why, cause we are maxed out on bricks. Okay. Well, that's all right. So the other thing that we need, oh, look at that. We got more research here. Let's see what research we got. Unlocks the steel mill, unlocks node parcel. I think I'd like to have the node parcel. 
And then we get times two on edge throughput limit for outputs and inputs from extraction parcels and have a 1200 item per turn throughput, uh, throughput limit. All right, so we'll pick up that and then we're gonna go, uh, let's go back to the map here. Uh, you can see down here that we have nodes, but for us to be able to buy nodes, we need to make uh, steel. So we might as well go up here and grab the steel mill because we're going to need that for us to make to unlock the nodes and we need brick. Somehow we managed to make one steel bar. I don't know how, but I guess by us just researching it, we, we made one. And it just appeared out of nowhere, and I have no idea where it is. Let me see. Where is it? It's not here. So I don't know where that steel is, but it's, uh, it's somewhere out there. You know, it, should, it shouldn't it should even show up because it should be a zero right there. But uh, so what we need here is iron plates. we got a bunch of iron plates here. We can uh, do that and start making some steel. Yeah, we have steel here going up as one per turn. Uh, if we up this a little bit here, there's two, three. It's like three is the best we can do. All right, so we're making three per turn. Boy, we are just dragging down those iron plates big time. But that's okay. We need to uh, separate out the, uh, the iron plates, to be honest. But you can see now down here, we can make nodes. And this is good because these here, hmm, that's strange. Oh, okay, that's extractions. Yeah, for nodes, what they are is allows us to uh, pull stuff in and then push it out. So it says a two base throughput on an output connections equals 16 per node at a 1200 item per limit when connected to another node. So if we take these here and just kind of back these little buggers up, and then we put this node here, and we put that node right about there, and, we, and if you right click on these, it, you can delete them. So on this here, we're gonna drag this to this, and we're gonna call this uh, stone. So you see we're doing, doing quite a bit 400 300 it's like pushing a lot over right right off the bat boom so now if we look at this we already have 1200 in our quantity we're doing really good uh and now we can take this stone here and bring it over here and call that stone and this should up it at like 16 per second if if it wasn't for this stone being 400 right here because it's maxed out, but it's going to be at a 16 per turn, so it's going to be pretty even. Should be able to bring it over pretty quick. Um, now, this would be another way for us to do stone here, but uh, let's see. We're going to pull this out here, and we got the stone. Yep, all right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to do an extraction. And on this traction here, I want to do, whoops, I want to do a, um, let's do iron. So we get a, the little iron, iron miner guy requires some uh, iron plates, which we currently seem to be low on. Oh man, we are like so low on it. Let's see, where is our iron plates? It's in here. Uh, iron smelter, let's up that a little bit. See if we can't uh, push that iron. Is that going down? Yeah, that's going down. So let me see. Iron smelter. Let's uh, back that off. Let's see, let's push that through and see if we can't. Oh, it's already maxed out. <laughs> Can't go any higher. Let me see, how about if we back the smelters back a little bit? Yeah, actually we need to go forward with them, huh? Let's see iron. Let 
What is it that all of our iron is going into? Is it this? Oh, it must be the gears, huh? Yeah, so we can exit out of the gears for a minute. And that should bring our our iron plates up once they yeah they kind of kick in there let's see where are they iron miner smelter there it goes so we got 16 we should be getting basically one per turn uh iron miner there we go I don't think we'll be able to offset that at all. Holy cow. What is just taking that away? Oh, it must be the steel here. Okay, let's take out the steel then. There we go. Uh, pull this back a little bit. Okay, there we go. And we got the iron miners here. I'll push that up so there we go now we're getting like we're, getting, we're up at 600 iron plates all of a sudden isn't that crazy all right so now we can go back to here and we can get the uh, iron miner and we want um we just want him to do mining iron he's going to require energy so we're going to do the coal miner and we're also going to do the coal plant and then what we want to do is we want to max out this uh this uh not that iron miner there we go so now he's going to be pushing out almost 22 uh 22 iron per turn so that's going to be pretty decent and then i'm thinking what i want to do is i want to put down another node here and so i want to bring this guy over here and i want to call him uh iron ore there we go so we got a lot of iron ore coming through just gonna fill that up real nicely yeah there we go we're getting 22 per second on that and that's already up to 940 and then what we want to do is probably do a uh do a production and we want to set this guy up to do iron smelting probably want to max out the iron smelting and then back it off a little bit i'm thinking about 28 and let's do the uh, coal miner and the power plant coal power plant there we go so yeah there we go we got things are moving things are grooving maybe add a few more to that what are we doing a lot of power here we're at 40 out of 112 so we're doing pretty decent up there coal is still a little let's see if we back that off even more bring that there we go now we're in a bonus all right so that's looking all right and looks like we're doing about 26 per turn no we shouldn't be doing iron plate why is oh yeah 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 we should be doing iron plate what am i thinking yeah so iron plate's going to be doing at 26 per turn that's going to be pretty sweet we're going to be pushing a lot so we have this we'll drag that over and this is going to be the iron ore see we're doing 16 per second it's going to start bringing this thing back up we're going to get the uh, close to uh, 16 per second. There we go on that. So it's a straight shot. And with this here, it's kind of a uh, like a buffer. So it uh, has that extra in there just to kind of keep everything, you know, on the uh, on the on the lowdown. You know, everything's working. Everything's proven. Things are working out. You know, we got it going on. All right. So we have. Uh, now that we're doing iron plate we want to take this iron plate and we want to take this back to the base so we want to bring that over here see that's iron plate there we are so we're doing eight per second coming in later on we'll be able to up that and get that more up to 16 but right now eight's gonna do 
Uh, so I'm going to do extraction, and then I want to do a node, and then I want to do another production. All right, so now that we have these here, uh, all we do is do is look up here. We need 1411 for iron. So we're just basically going to copy the same here. We're going to put it all to 16, back it off to back to 14, do the coal miner. We're going to do the coal power plant. There we go. And then we're going to have this guy come over here. And he's going to be the iron ore. So we're basically just copying the same that we have up here. But uh, in this part here, um, we want, let's copy, look at this here, what do we got? 2615. So on this one here, we're going to do that. And we want to back that down to 26. We want to do one power plant. And we want to put the rest into uh, coal mine. There we are. 2615. There we go. We're good to good, good to go. All right. So we are making iron plates on this one. And then what we're going to do is drag that over to here and tell that to uh, that's iron. Should be doing 16 across the board now. And then the next part, I'm going to do another production here. But on this production here, I want to do. Uh, I want to do steel mill. So that is going to require me to do steel mill. Let's get one of those. And actually, let's just max that out. So we'll do five of those. And then what I want to do is I want the coal miner, like just like the last one, and the coal power plant. There we go. Now we're bringing things across. So we can make some more of these. Now, it, it is is that we're a little low on something over here for us to make it. It's uh, bricks. So we have 600 bricks over here, but it says that we must need like, what, 800 bricks or something or a thousand bricks to make that? I don't know. Let's see. Looks like 400 bricks. Wow. So quite a few bricks just to make one steel mill. So you can see here that we're bringing over at 40 at a time for our max, which is works out to actually be about 20. Because you figure it's uh, two ore equals, is gonna equal, oh, one plate. Oh, that's where I gone wrong. I forgot to add the plate. All right, so we'll move the steel over. And, well, shoot. Actually, let's just take out the steel here. And we want to do, um, we want to do iron smelter. There we go. And we want to back that off maybe about 26, up that to five. There we go. No, this just is doing an iron plate, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Yeah, we were right on this one on steel. There we go. Okay, so we want to bring this over to here, and we want this to be iron plate. Now you can see we're doing 8 per second here. This is all going to start ramping up back up to 16. So we're going to, you know, everything's going to be moving and grooving across here. We're going to get stuff happening. And then we're going to take the steel, and we want to bring this up to the base. So we we'll say, yep, that's steel. There we go. Looks like we're doing eight a second on that one. So we got eight a second here. This one here is a kind of ramp, ramping down a little bit. Apparently, we don't have as good as we thought we did. Uh, probably because I need more in steel here. So we're doing about 1.9, which is a little, not too bad. I mean, I think we could probably bring it up to two, but 
I mean, we got 206 on the uh, on steel beams over here, so we're doing pretty good. We're pretty low on the um, on gears though, so we could definitely use that. And uh, but again, you know, that's uh, just going to involve doing a lot more of this stuff and um, and just ramping this up uh, for iron, probably going through the nodes, making sure these are all like pretty, you know, ramping up just nicely. I don't understand. Let's see here. We have. Yeah, we have three thousand iron plate now, so we're doing really well. So all we need to do now is uh probably just bring out another extractor and we can't do any more productions anymore uh what is it oh it's because we're low on the uh, on the gears that's why so let's look in here see what we're doing um got the iron miner here which is doing the smelting could probably back those off a little bit. See if we up that, get rid of the iron miners because we don't need those anymore. So hopefully that'll slowly kind of work its way off and then we, we won't have those. Uh, let's see your iron plates here gears are right here we seem to be doing pretty good on gears let's up these uh gears a little bit and get kind of get those going there we go so we're doing about 8.5 per turn so that's pretty good now now we're flying through gears which is gonna open us up here for production again so we got another production down here we got some more another node and let's see what's it going to cost for us to uh go through gears we need iron plates so this is probably going to be our iron plates and then we're going to have to go through the next production here and that would be our gears right there so and there we are we're doing eight per second i imagine that's going to back down a little bit just like it did with steel but for right now, we're, you know, we're doing pretty good. You can see, oh man, look at that. We're already up in the 2000s on gears. I mean, we're doing really good. Look at those numbers. Those are great numbers. Um, so we can actually go back into the headquarters now. We can get rid of our gears. And we can up this up into like, you know, maybe uh, the red area. You know, get, let's get the, uh, let's get these uh, red science, you know, you know, get a plug in. Maybe just max it out, huh? Look at that, 45. Bam! So now, uh, looks like we're doing 4.5 on that. This is going down on gears. Maybe you want to bring that down a little bit. There we go. That one's now going up by one. But we still have quite a few gears, so we're doing good. Doing, doing good, you know, things are working here. So we're doing 7.5. We're bringing in at 8 at a time so that's all right things are you no know, things are working here uh we don't need the stone miner guy anymore so we can back him out we got the coal we got the power plant we don't i don't know i mean we got the iron guy here but we're maxed out of iron plate i think i'd rather keep that going maybe even have the um kiln keep the kiln going until it burns that out and then the coal of course is for that so yeah it looks pretty good looks like we're doing pretty good there getting a lot of research we're already almost at 600 research wow we are flying but uh anyways i think this is a good spot to uh, end our uh, episode for today i really appreciate you guys coming out and joining us uh smash that subscribe button and hit that like Comment down in the comment section below and uh, you'll find more information in the description as well as where to purchase the game. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one. You take care now and bye bye.